Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about the future of sideloading on Android, where I've posted previous videos where there's been an ongoing spat between F-Droid and Google, which could mean the end of sideloading on Android, as mentioned. And I'll leave two previous videos I've posted on this linked down below and in the end screen. Now, the latest is is that F-Droid has now once again posted an article, which I'll leave in the description if you'd like to get the full read, where it says it hopes to clarify and expand on some of the points and rebut some of the counter-messaging that it has witnessed. Basically, that counter-messaging is from Google. Now, it goes on to say uh, in the post, which as mentioned will be linked, and I'm quoting, Shortly after our post was published, Google aired an episode of the Android Developers Roundtable series where they state unequivocally that sideloading isn't going anywhere. And I posted on that. I'll leave that video linked as mentioned. It'll be one of those two videos. Now, after it says that this statement is untrue. Because obviously this has caused quite a lot of debate. I have even seen in the comments on the channel. It says that the developer verification decree effectively ends the ability for individuals to choose what software they run on the devices they own. Eftroid carries on to say, it bears reminding that sideload is a made-up term. Putting software on your computer is simply called installing regardless of whether that computer is in your pocket or on your desk. This could perhaps be further precise as direct installing, in case you need to make a distinction between obtaining software the old-fashioned way versus going through a rent-seeking intermediary marketplace like Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Regardless, Eftroid carries on to say, the term sideload was coined to insinuate that there is something dark and sinister about the process, as if the user were making an end run around safeguards that are designed to keep you protected and secure. But if we reluctantly accept that sideloading is a term that has wriggled its way into common parlance, then we should at least use a consistent definition for it. And then they mention Wikipedia's definition is, and it says, the transfer of apps from web sources that are not vendor approved. So that's according to Wikipedia, the definition of sideloading. And then there's a whole lot of going backwards and forwards. Check the article out, be in the description as mentioned. But regardless, under the new policy, the vendor, according to Eftroid, who is Google, will absolutely be approving the source. An app creator will no longer be able to develop an app and share it directly with their community without first seeking Google's explicit approval. If the vendor is in charge of who can distribute software, then sideloading is gone, according to Eftroid. It's also mentioned that since the beginning, Google has made this about security, as I've mentioned in those previous videos. It justifies this by claiming, and I'm quoting, our recent analysis found over 50 times more malware from internet sideloaded sources than on apps available through Google Play. Now this sounds scary, so to speak, but as you may well know, if you have followed Android news, you may know that there have been many cases of malware coming directly from the Play Store itself. And Eftroid does make it clear that this developer verification program is an existential threat to free software distribution platforms like itself and other competitors to the Play Store. So a lot of backwards and forwards taking place here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think that side learning is gone? Do you think that, as mentioned by F-Droid, that Google will absolutely be approving the source? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Always interested to hear. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.